Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, hi, my name is Valentina, I'm a makeup lover and I like to test makeup products and in today's video I'm going to test a new face palette and I have this one from Hourglass. This is the new ambient lighting palette, the Dragon palette. I'm going to test this palette uh, for the first time today, this is what I have on my skin right now and I'll also give you some updates for these new makeup products by Huda Beauty and I'm going to create this makeup look by using some of my favorite makeup products. So if you like what you see and want to find out more then keep on watching. In today's video I'm going to test this new Hourglass palette. I have the Dragon palette, but before I get to that part, I'm going to do my makeup base by using some of my favorite makeup products. I want to do like a get ready with me because uh, I'll go out today. I want to show you what I like to use and uh, what I like to do when I want my makeup to last all day. And I want to use some of my favorite makeup products. I've used these makeup products before on my channel and uh, I have a first impression video for every makeup product. I'll also list everything down in the description box below. First, I'm going to start with my primer and uh, for today I'm going to use this one from Seshado. This is Synchro Skin Soft Blurring Primer. This is my favorite primer at the moment. Blurs the pores, doesn't break me out, and uh, helps my makeup last all day. Next, I'm going to apply my foundation, and for today, I'm going to use this Estee Lauder Double Wear. I want my makeup to last all day today, so I'm going to use this foundation. For my concealer, I'm going to use this Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer. I also use this as my eyeshadow base. This is a very good concealer. I just bought this again. This is my second bottle. My first Natasha Denona concealer lasted me one year and I used every single uh, drop of it. So I just got a new one because uh, this is very good. I get minimal creasing with this concealer, has a nice natural finish, doesn't look heavy or cakey on the skin and lasts all day. If I have to recommend you one concealer right now would be this one by uh, Natasha Denona. And next I'm going to test this new Hourglass palette and uh, I got the Dragon palette. I bought this from the Hourglass website and with my order I received this Hourglass uh, powder. I'm very happy that I received this powder with my order because I've heard great things about this powder and uh, I'm excited to try it. I have oily skin and I need to apply powder every time I do my makeup and I'm always on a hunt to find a good powder. This is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I got this travel size version with my order. This is how the packaging looks like. Very cute packaging for the powder. This is the Translucent Setting Powder. Made in USA, has 12 months shelf life. So uh, let's try it. I'm going to apply it on this side of the face first because I want to see how my skin will look with and without this powder on. So this is how my skin is looking with and without this uh, Hourglass powder on. Very pretty finish, I like the formula of the powder, this is very finely milled. I don't know what to say about the color, I feel like my skin looks yellow on this side. I think the powder leaves like a little tint behind. I'll have to see how my skin looks outside in natural light. So uh, this is with and without the powder on. I'm going to apply it on this side too. 
I definitely have to test this powder more, but uh, for now I like it. So um, I'll test this until my next video and uh, I'll keep you updated. I want to do the eye makeup before uh, I test this new palette. So next I'm going to do my eye makeup. For my eye makeup, I'm going to use some of my favorite makeup products. I've done this before on my channel, so I'll skip this part. But I'll insert a few clips and I'll show you what makeup products I use. And after that, I'm going to test uh, this new palette. So I'm going to quickly do the eye makeup first and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, the eye makeup is done and next I'm going to test uh, my new palette, this by Hourglass. I have the new Dragon palette. This is how the packaging looks like. Very cute packaging, I like it. The palette comes with a mirror and uh, this is the color story. I'm so excited to try this palette because I really love the jellyfish palette from last year. I have it right here. This is the jellyfish palette and this is the new dragon palette. In this jellyfish palette from last year, I love everything. All of these colors are uh, very good, very good quality, pigmented, but buildable. And I feel like these colors are perfect for uh, fair skin. So I'm curious to see the colors from this year. So this is the new ambient lighting edit unlocked dragon palette. The highly anticipated ambient lighting edit unlocked palette return featuring three new limited edition artworks and five new ambient lighting shades to create your perfect flash and lit from within glow. Each palette includes five brand new shades of blush, bronzer and highlighter to diffuse, enhance and add glow to the complexion. The shades can be used individually or layered together for a multi-dimensional soft glow finish. This from here was uh, in previous palettes and the rest of these powders are new. Everything looks very pretty, but uh, I don't know what to say about the highlighter. This uh, might be a little bit too dark for me, but um, I have to see it on my skin. Now, let's try these colors. First, I'm going to apply this finishing powder all over my skin. I really love this finishing powder. You can use this before you apply your bronzer or your blush or after your blush or your bronzer. This is also good if you apply too much blush or too much bronzer because we blend all the powders together and will make everything look more natural. So I know this powder from the last palette doesn't emphasize the pores and will not make your makeup look heavy or cakey. Next I'm going to test this bronzer. This is my skin with and without 
the bronzer on. Very nice color of the bronzer. I feel like this is perfect on my fair skin. Also, the formula is really nice. Doesn't look patchy or uh, muddy on the skin. Doesn't emphasize my pores, my acne, or my texture. And I feel like this has a blurring effect. I love it. And next, I want to try uh, this blush. I'm so excited to try this. Okay, this has a buildable formula. I like it. And this is how this blush is looking on my skin. Very pretty color. Now, I want to try this blush on this side. Oh my god, this is very pretty. I love it. So on this side, I have this blush from here. And the, on this side, this one. I feel like I just found my uh, perfect blush color. This uh, mauve one from here is very pretty. Now I have to match the two sides. I'm going to take this one on this side. And I'll apply a little bit of this on this side. And as I mentioned earlier, if you apply too much blush or too much bronzer, you can go back and use uh, one of these two finishing powders. Now, I'm going to use this one from here on top of this uh, blush and bronzer to make everything look more natural. Now everything look more uh, blended. I'm going to do the same on this side. Now let's try this highlighter. I hope this will not look uh, very dark on my skin. This looks lighter on my skin than uh, it looks in the pan. And this is the finished result with this palette. Let me show you how my skin looks up close. Next I'm going to apply something on my lips and uh, I'll give you my final impressions for my new palette, this uh, new hourglass palette, after I finish with my makeup. And on my lips I'm going to use these two, this Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in uh, Walk of No Shame, with this uh, Flower Nose lipstick in the shade C06. I've used this lipstick for the first time in my last video and as a little update since my last video I have to say that I really love it. It's not drying on the lips, it's very comfortable, the color is gorgeous and uh, it's pretty long lasting. So this is what I'm going for uh, today on the lips. I also want to give you a little update for this new Easy Blur foundation and this new Easy Blur primer from Huda Beauty. I've used these two for the first time in my last video and as a little update since my last video I have to say that uh, I don't like the foundation. This is very pretty for pictures. My skin looks very good for a few hours with this foundation on. But this is not waterproof and if a single drop of water touches my skin when I have this foundation on, my makeup melts. And I also don't like this primer. This is doing nothing on my skin. Doesn't blur the pores, doesn't uh, do much on my skin. So um, I'll use this more but this is my update uh, for these two since my last video. But uh, if you want to see the first impression video for these two, I highly recommend you to check my last 
nice video. Now about this new palette from Hourglass, this uh, Dragon palette. I love everything in this palette. I love these blushes, I love the bronzer, the two finishing powders. I will have to see if I like the highlighter. But overall this is a very nice palette and I think these colors are very good uh, on fair skin. So for now I like this palette but uh, I'll use it more and uh, I'll keep you updated in my next video. I would love to know from you guys if you like the finished makeup result and uh, please let me know what other makeup products you'd like me to test next. But that's everything for today. I hope this video was helpful and I hope you like it. If you like it, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also ring the bell to be notified when I upload. I post every week so make sure to hit the notification bell. I hope you'll have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!